How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be talking about editing photos in Lightroom. I want to show you how to go from this to this. So what I've got here is just a raw file. This is shot with a Canon 60D, but any raw file will do. And we're gonna go ahead and play with the settings to get the ideal look and the look that a lot of people have been using for their Instagram posts nowadays. So when you bring your photo into Lightroom, pop over to develop, and you should have this panel over on the right side that has all of the various settings that you might wanna use. So let's just start at the top and we'll work our way down. So. First at the top you've got your temperature, your color temperature, and your tint. Right now we're gonna leave this as is. We don't wanna touch this too much yet because we don't quite know how this is gonna look once we play with the various exposure settings. So the first thing we wanna adjust is our exposure. Right now it looks fairly good. You can see in our wave up here we may actually even be a little under. I'm gonna just bring it up a pinch. And then I'm gonna bump my contrast to about 25 to start. And we'll leave it at that. Now what I like to do with my highlights and shadows is, is bring the highlights down a good deal and bring the shadows up a good deal as well. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give almost a high dynamic range look to your photo. This um, brings out the detail on the highlights. You can really see in the background sort of, you start to lose them as the highlights are up and as we bring this down, you get a little more detail in those trees. And the shadows, course we're going to regain some of the detail that falls into the darkness so as these are pumped up we can actually bump our expo our contrast a little more to sort of bring those elements together so it's not so flat so now I'm going to bring my contrast up a little more towards you know 40 or 50 um, and then what you can do is you can use the whites and blacks to sort of adjust what you dislike about uh, sort of what we just changed so if it's still a little hot on the whites you can bring those down a little your blacks maybe bring down a little to add that contrastiness. Then we've got the presence settings, and these are a lot of fun to use. Your clarity, I'll just kind of bump it up to show you what it does, is gonna really make everything pop. Now we don't wanna go too crazy with this. I like to start at about 15. And you can sort of see it just gives a little extra pop to all of the lines and, uh, and elements in your photo. Now for our saturation and vibrance, I wanna bring down my vibrance just a bit, and then I wanna bump up the saturation. I don't wanna to go too crazy or else we sort of get this fake, you know, fully saturated look. I wanna sit at about 25 and, uh, and, and go with that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way down to the camera calibration setting. And this is where we're gonna go and dive into sort of the trending look of today on Instagram. And that look is the teal and orange color. So. If we go down to our blue primaries and just drag this meter all the way to the left, you'll see the, the, the start of the look forming. The oranges change and the blues change. Well, now we wanna to go to our red primary and just slide it about halfway towards the orange. And now you can see it starts to look a little crazy in the orange. Well, I wanna bring the saturation down on this. I wanna bring it down just a little bit. And then I want to bump the blue saturation a pinch. And you can see we sort of have the look, but it's not quite where we want it to be. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna actually bump the green primary just a little bit and the saturation just a little bit. Okay, so we're not quite there. Now we go back up and now we're gonna use our white balance. So here's where you can sort of dial in this setting a little more, because right now it doesn't quite feel realistic. So if we just play with the way our settings are in form, we can sort of get a more realistic feel. Now, if I go too blue, it feels a little off. That's that's sort of pushing the teal color. So we're gonna bring it back towards the orange side. So we get a pinch of teal in the ground, and then we have a really nice orange on the leaves. And then to sort of fine tune this, you can use your tint and play with the greens and the pinks until you hit right where you want it to be. I'm just gonna give it a little more green. Great. So now if we just quickly pop down and we compare to our previous look, you can see the start of our transformation here. We've really got a changed color scheme um, that's sort of fit for what today's trending look is, and it's that teal and orange look. People are really eating that up on Instagram. So let's pop back in, and we're gonna do a few more edits to play with this. 
I'm still not fully set on how the orange is looking. So in my color panel, what I can do is adjust that. So I'm gonna slide my orange meter a little bit closer to yellow, up here a little closer to red, and then I'm gonna move my green a little closer to teal and green away from yellow and bump the saturation on that a pinch. And you can play with all these colors and really do whatever you want with them to adjust the look of your piece. And finally, well not finally, we're gonna just continue on. Detail, your sharpening defaults to 25. I like to kick it to about 32. And then I like to move my noise reduction to about 12. And that just gives everything a little bit more pop and a little bit more detail. And if we slide down to um, effects, I like to do my post crop vignette at about a negative 15 and my dehaze at about a 15. And this sort of, you know, gives a little more contrast, a little more bump to everything in your photo. So what we're gonna do now is depending what element you have in your photo, you can do a lot of nice touches with it. So I'm gonna use my brush tool here and I wanna just give this leaf a little extra kick. And what you'll see is I'll bump the clarity on it I'm gonna bump the contrast, bump the highlights, and I just wanna make it sort of pop out a little extra. Bump my saturation a little, my dehaze, sort of bump everything, and then I can play with the color a little. I'm gonna bring up the pinks a little, bring it towards blue a little more, and then I'm actually gonna bring down the highlights a little because it does have a lot of reflection on it. And it just gives the look a little bit more pop on our focal item there. So you can see we're sort of really bringing out that leaf. Now, one other thing I wanna do with this photo specifically is I want the attention to draw more so towards the leaf. So I'm going to use my um, gradient tool and I'm gonna sort of make the sky a little bit darker because right now it's feeling kind of bright. So I can sort of just bring down the exposure, bring up the contrast and darken everything a little so that when you were looking at your photo, we're really seeing that leaf, okay? And we can actually do that on the sides too. And what that's gonna do is really draw the viewer toward our focal point, which of course in this photo is the leaf. So we just bring down the sides and it's almost like creating your own vignette to sort of focus the attention, if you will and that just sort of draws the viewer in. We can maybe darken this one a little bit more. And you can play with this and do it however you want, but it's all about making sure it's the look you want and the look that you, know, you find appropriate for the piece you're working on. And another thing you can remember is if you like this preset, this, this color preset, you can go ahead and save that preset to um, your preset panel over here. And, and then if you have a series of photos and you wanna give them all that same look, you can go and pop them in uh, right over here and just click on it and give it that look quickly and then sort of adjust based on your photo and what you wanna highlight. So let's take a look at the before and after. You can see this is our original photo and it really had you know some flatness and it had more natural colors, but what we did is we played with it over here, really you know adjusted some saturation and adjusted some colors to give it that teal and orange look that is really trending on Instagram right now and give it actually some, uh, some uniqueness and um, I think it came out quite nice. So guys, let me know what you think. Go ahead and like the video. Feel free to toss in some comments and uh, let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see in the future. I appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.